in this in this video clip we're going to do uh, the exam paper for October 2014 question 3 2 uh, given the following information um, consumption equals 100 plus 0 0.8 y and y equals 2000 the first question that you needed to answer is induced consumption if income is 2000 we all know that, uh, con that the consumption function is consumption equals autonomous consumption plus induced consumption. What you need to focus on is the induced consumption to answer the first question. Okay. See why is then 0 0.8 times 2000 which, which you, in the 2000 you get from your statement saying that y equals 2000. Okay. So 0 0.8 times 2000 is then 1600, which then gives you your induced consumption. Okay. Th this is the first part. Then the question asks you to work out consumption spending when y is also equal to 2000. For this question, or for that part of the question, we're going to use this equation. Okay, saying C equals autonomous consumption plus induced consumption. Where it's then 100 plus 0 0.8, 2000, which then equals to 1,700. Which then gives you your consumption spending when Y equals 2000 all right then the last part of, of the question is ask you to work out what is what the savings when total income equals to 2000 it is necessary to know that when we talk about savings it's the part that is not being spent okay that's that's the the definition for savings the equation is when savings equal total income minus uh, total consumption spending all right and we already derived from the previous two um, questions that saying that y is then 2000 minus 1700 which then gives you that savings is then 300 so that is how you should have answered um, the october 2014 question 32